Monday. <laughs> yeah. We've been sick and I don't know what day it is. We're finally feeling better. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Heading up to the Sandia Crest Scenic Byway. In the Sandia Mountains. <clears throat> We've weathered all kinds of different temperatures. <laughs> Turn left onto Sandia Crest Road. In 8.9 miles, turn left onto Sandia Crest Scenic Highway. So we're going to take this scenic drive in. See what we can see. I'm sure they have pull-offs and things that we can overlook the mountains. <clears throat> it's a national forest. Snow skiing area up here. Sandia Mountains are above 10,000 feet. Well, the peak of it is 10,000. <clears throat> so it should be a nice drive, and we're kind of looking forward to, to getting out and seeing stuff. So come along with us. pronounce it Tammy Cibola uh, National Cibola. Forest Based on the app on her phone, we're already above 7,000 7, feet. It was in the 40s at night. 70s, low 70s during the day. Yeah. To Tucson, which is 100 degrees. It only got down to the dusty. Upper 70s at night. A lot of wind. A bicycle passed a car. <laughs> a bicycle passed a car, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Las Cruces was pretty warm. But we were pretty sick, so we didn't do much. We didn't do much in Las Cruces. I wanted to see some things, but we were just not feeling up to it, so. We have to go back someday. is that you don't see any cactus. This is true. We're climbing up the mountain here. You see more trees, <laughs> more green, evergreen type of trees and natural grass. Yeah, some grass. Bighorn sheep area. 
bear area. Of course, mule deer. Mule deer. Biggins. <laughs> All kinds of other critters. So well, it's down to 70 now. <laughs> yeah, we might wish we'd wore long pants. Look at that mountain up there. Yes, goodness. Should we all sing around the chorus of <laughs> she'll be coming around the mountain? Again, this is the Sandia mountain range, and I believe it's pronounced Siebel of National Forest. So, just outside of Albuquerque, right off uh, Interstate 40, and it is really pretty up here. Yes. Never know what's around the curve, nope. you know. Could it could be, be a breathtaking scenery or an animal of some kind. Bicycle pass my car. Elevation eight thousand feet. There's no campgrounds here. According to one of the signs we saw, Just picnic, picnic areas, areas only. Um, so, it seems kind of a shame because it's pretty up here. Yeah. Well, I think it's too hilly. It yeah, really might be, yeah. Uh, Lots of trails up yeah. here. People love to do trail hikes. Yeah. We're not feeling that good yet. No. <laughs> so we'll just do the driving. That's down to sixty nine degrees. <laughs> see something really interesting and beautiful we'll bring you back on board well disappointment <laughs> the Sandia Crest Scenic Highway the gates are closed so we are proceeding up the Sandia Crest Highway 535 To see where this goes so we can't take the scenic byway for some reason they got the gates closed so we'll just keep going on this still climbing up We're up to 9400 feet 9400 huh just up to the top bummer Still kind of a pretty drive though. Yeah, it is.
many places to pull off here. This is June. It's the 19th. It's Nin the Juneteenth. Yeah, Juneteenth. And it's 64 degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> started out at what, 84? 84. really good overview of the valley a while ago but there was just no place to pull off to enjoy it Get over here so the wind won't tear up my voice. We're at the uh, 10,000 foot trailhead and it's 99, 9,950 feet or something like that. But that's the view that we've got. Absolutely beautiful. down the trail a little bit. Mom stayed up with the truck to give you this, this view. Of the Sandia Mountains. You can see the valley down below. We're 10,000 feet. Really, really beautiful up here. I'll give you a close up view of those mountains over there, which look to be significant lower than where I'm at. But boy, it looks like there's animals could just walk right out of that forested area down there. It's really, really pretty up here. And this is what's back behind me. So it's still a little bit to go farther up. Really pretty.
It's very windy up here. Like, actually, these gusts will blow in the right now from where we were to give you a better view We made it to the Sandia Crest. Now we're headed back down and we've decided to take a little detour to Madrid. It's an old mining town slash ghost town. 
Chris says it's a pretty drive. gift shop and restaurant at uh, Sandia Crest is not open. It looks like it's been closed down for a while. But it was spectacular scenery up there, let me tell you. Windy. I mean, it would blow you backwards a, a couple of gusts of wind. a real pretty overlook uh, view coming up and there's no place to pull off. This, I think this is where it's at because I can see sky. Just to really let you see it so I'm going to try to slow down because there's nobody behind me. Shoot, wasn't here. <laughs> so you can Close see far. more of it but it's, it's just a yes. wide open view of yeah. the valley from the other side of the mountain from where we were. Besides, the speed limit's only 25 miles an hour anyway. These trees weren't so tall, you can see something there. Yeah. And it'll be coming up where it's open. <coughs> see the mountains on the eastward side. I can't stop, but I hope yeah, it's, it's you can pause the video maybe and take a look at it. been picking up trash along yeah. the road and need to pick up their bags. Yeah. <clears throat> That's where we were a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. The trails leading out of here must be outstanding. Yeah. But we can't we can't do it right now. I hadn't been sick all last week. We might be able to do some. from the scenery you wouldn't believe you're in New Mexico. No. You think you're in Colorado. Yeah. the video we'll get back to you later as we get uh, closer to getting to Madrid see you later we're about two and a half miles from Madrid 
been a pretty seating drive here on very scenic. 14. Lots of twists and turns. But that's what you would expect driving around the mountains. In half a mile, arrive at Madrid. That's what he had told me that Wild Hogs was filmed here. And that was the 